All right, I'm just gonna make this very behavior specific and not try to get off on one of my tangents, but what I've discovered is the fastest way to get them there is just go there yourself. Just go there yourself. Stop telling it to go there. Stop leading it there. Stop trying to make it stay there. So what's she looking at? Oh God. She's looking at, the, if you said, what is he doing? He's over there biting the water. He's not even really drinking. He's just biting the water. He said, get him away. Hang on. So that was my silent recall, but he's not drinking. He's biting the water. <laughs> okay. If you said, oh, that can become compulsive real quick. So if you said your job, my job as the trainer is to get this thing excited about getting on this platform. It's not to... Kevin, okay, I want you, I don't know if you saw that girl, Elizabeth, she's got her kids, all of them doing it. You can direct the wife, the kids, all of them. If you said, where am I? You're sitting in a chair. You're sitting in a chair. They're running around the yard by this climb. So if you said where that, and these are all facts, lack of consistency is gonna be a big fail. Okay, so we've got immediate consistency right here. We have a location. If you said, what should I, if I was a method actor, what? This is your kitchen counter, you're cutting cheese. You can't get over there, this effing dog is right there. If it could get on the counter, it would be on the counter. So no matter what you say, it's not good. So if you said it's all reverse psychology, just like I use with my wife and kids, like you try, but they're actually using it on you in a counter attacks on your, thinking you're using it on them. <laughs> so if you said, how can I be consistent? And it's what you need, Kevin, is a, some kind of concrete, whether you can use patio blocks or whatever, but I need to be able to say, if I'm gonna always put your hand like that, if you bend down, you probably already know that, but in order to make it consistent, so I'm, uh oh, I'm the, you're, I'm, I'm the person you're directing, and your direction is merely gonna be, go stand in the blue box. Not tell the dog, go over there, nothing. Now get away, get away, go away, go away. This is all you're gonna have to do. So if you said Selena's gonna be able to, do, yeah, she's gonna be able to do all this. I mean, don't use it if it's aggressive dogs or whatever. I mean, you know you can't use kids, but you're not telling the dog to do anything. Go to the blue box. So if you said, it says to itself, so if you said it's gonna be better to get it up there than it is to make it stay there and say, don't get off. I'm, I'm, it's being successful time and t it's trying to get this, what it thinks is a Frisbee. It's being successful time and time and over and over and over. So if you said, give me the example, if I make it stay on there, it's failing over and over and over. It's failing every time it tries to get off there, failing and failing it. a failure dynamic. We're just flipping the script. It's, if you said, if I said to you, listen, I need you to make a dog do a, a behavior successfully. She said, what is he giving the shake? Um, a hundred times. It, it's going to need to happen fast. So that's all there. That's that simple. Oh, hi, Michelle. Lou, could you move? You're just saying. You're just telling whoever you're or yourself. I'm not even looking at this dog, Kevin. I'm saying, all I see is my blue box and the cheese over there. All I see is the Boar's Head Sample Booth opening for business. But if I just meander, if I just meander or say, get over here, get, get up there, stay, 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 fail, fail, get up there, get up there, fail, fail, fail. It's, it's, they make the success the wrong. You draw a little box, even if you just have to draw in the dirt. If you said, well, that's just going to make me consistent, yes. So you see how if one person does this, it's going to be very easy for another person. If the only requirement is to go stand in the blue box. If you said, geez, anybody can do that. Exactly. And we need to do it over and over. So the dog says to itself on the subconscious level, the best I can tell in my environment, this is the most successful location. If you said, what happens if you put force them to stay up there? In my environment, this is the least success. This is where I fail the most. I know you know what I'm talking about, Kevin, but if we put it up there and then start saying, don't move, a very close handler is right there saying, don't move, don't move. It's already coming up with strategies to how, what if I just distance myself from this handler? Does that solve the problem? Yep. 
No need to look for other plans. <laughs> I just distanced myself from the handler. So anybody can do it. So let's get you started on it this week, Kevin. It's that easy. You're just saying, go to the blue box. That's why these dogs are facing me. They have a presupposition to face the handler when they get up. This is helping me with my recall and everything else. If you said so, like when you're going, that's what they see when they see the recall. The back of the handler and you see how they appear in front of me. It's that simple. So that's, that's the end of the episode. That's all you're doing for now. That's all you're doing. And if you said, what, is it, what if it doesn't come over there? Just drop the treats and walk away. Have one of your older dogs out there that'll move in real fast and clean up. Yeah, one of your older dogs move in fast and clean up any crumbs. If you said, get it back over there. Ah! I had to make sure I could get out of his way. I'm using the pager, but you don't even need to use the pager. You don't need to use the pager. It's the, he, they're gonna go over there. So if you said, every time I go over to my counter and I start dicing up cheese and some falls on the floor, now I'm never gonna get rid of this dog? Pretty much, <laughs> pretty much. Eh. Uh -oh. So work on that. You've got to make it as easy as possible for your handlers. And there's no easier than go stand in the box, give them the treat, go stand in the box. If it doesn't go over there, just drop the treat and rock away. They'll figure it out. Then they'll say, hmm, what's going on here? It seems like that thing goes over there and drops a bunch of treats. Hmm. Might be to my advantage to go over there and clean them up real fast. That's what we're operating with, Kevin, not, you shall obey me, dog. You already know that doesn't work. This thing is fast as the damn wind. It just views me as some sort of turtle. Some, look, it's, everything he does is moving fast. Anyway, I'll be right back. I'm going to do another one like that, but that's all you've got to do. Get a good little trajectory that's going to go with the dog's natural. If you said, well, once I do that, I can get him there from anywhere. But, but, but you know, I can't even move. He's all over me. Anyway, Michelle, I was so impressed with Jackson in the video. The arms, all of it, the Kleenex, all of it. It was unbelievable. It was absolutely unbelievable. So I told you, I had to really, they had to get scared straight. Oh, that was the method I used on them, Michelle. It was called scared straight. Before I could even get out there, they were all petting the dog and the dog jumped over the gate. Then they were all petting it while I was screaming, stop it, stop it, stop petting it. If you said, did they? No, they couldn't hear me because of all the barking. So they kept doing it. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Son of. Yeah, he's about to get a nick, hang on. He said, well, that's the end of the <laughs> He's not blaming me at all. No, he's not. He's hiding behind me, though. Oh, my God, I'm on a 60. I'm about to, if you said that, it let the behavior. Look at him, look at him. Look at that sideways look. Yeah, it stopped the behavior, if you said, based on the shake off. <laughs> it's not saying to itself that this location is not successful. It's, it doesn't. <laughs> Oh, thank God, we got a successful location we can go to. Whew. I think it's that's important, too. You said he's a little bastard. No, he's not a little bastard. He's a big bastard now. Look at the size of him. He's going to be a great big son bitch. Oh, hi, Ray. Yeah, he's going to be a great big son bitch. Anyway, all right, listen, I'm going to be right back. I don't know if you saw my musical dogs, Ray. If you said yes, I know a little bit about music, and I've never seen such out-of-tune animals. Who could blame you? <laughs> Who could blame you for that being your opinion?